Hello everybody and welcome back to the second channel. Thank you for joining me today. We're gonna be going through the subreddit again, so kick back, relax, crack open a sparkling water with your boy. And cheers with your boy. And have a sip with your boy. Really excited to jump back into the subreddit. I don't think I've been on it at all since the last subreddit video I did. I've been so busy. So I don't think I've been on my subreddit at all. So I'm curious to see what people are talking about. Let's go top and let's go month. Okay, all right, love to see it. The first post is about the half marathon that I ran. This is the same thing on my Instagram, dude. Everybody was commenting on the fact that it says Daniel on my bib. Yeah, that's my name. I posted on my Instagram, ran my first half marathon yesterday, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was really excited for myself. All of the top comments are just Daniel. Daniel. Slay Daniel. Daniel. Getting, oh, I accidentally liked that one. I posted this thing. I'm really proud of it, you know, like a really crazy accomplishment for me. I was super stoked on it. And uh, everybody just wanted to comment on the fact that I have a full name. Wait till you guys find out I have a middle name too. You guys are gonna flip out. No one ever really does call me Daniel. And uh, to be honest, I don't like going by Daniel. I never, I never know whether I can put Danny on stuff like this. Like, dude, do I have to legally put my legal name? I'm starting to think I don't based on the reaction to this. Also, I love people saying this is photoshopped. I've made a big mistake in occasionally posting videos where I'm like trying to trick my audience. Cause now whenever I do cool shit that I think is cool, people are like, yeah, no, that's not real. You didn't do that. I'm get, like getting gaslit by my own audience. I ran my first half marathon, dude. It was awesome. No, you didn't. You did not. Okay, we're getting some congratulatory comments in here as well. And this person said, whoa, go Danny, good job. But then of course it's followed up by someone correcting them and saying Daniel. This is Daniel now. Maybe I should change my second channel name to be Daniel Gonzalez. So the, the main channel is Danny. And then once you get to know me a little better, you find out I've got a real legal full name. Then you can come on over to Daniel Gonzalez and see what's good. This does bring up a good point because I've seen a few people ask why my second channel is called Too Danny Too Furious. Like I've seen posts on like Twitter and Reddit being like, is this a reference to something? I guess I didn't know that there were that many people that didn't know the movie Too Fast and Too Furious. Does, is that something that needs explaining? I just thought everybody knew that movie. But for those of you who don't know, the second Fast and Furious movie was called Too Fast, Too Furious. So I figured if I'm doing a sequel to my original channel, I should name it Too Danny, Too Furious. So I'm sorry if that was confusing. Let, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious how many people knew that and how many people si like didn't understand it at all, but just kind of like silently accepted it and were like, oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, let's go back to the subreddit and see what people are saying. Wow, that guy looks like Danny and is also named Daniel. What a coincidence. Incident. Ha, right? I just thought it was funny to think of his name being Daniel. It sounds so serious. It does sound serious. That's why I don't go by Daniel. Or Dan. Whenever I meet older people, it's like they refuse to call me Danny. Just like anyone who's like older than like, I don't know, like 65. They want to call me Dan so bad and I don't know what it is. Am I too old to be Danny? I just feel like I'm Danny. Dan sounds so serious and like boring to me. I don't want to go by Dan. But like for some reason, every old person in my life wants to call me Dan. No matter how many times I say my name is Danny. All of my public social media is Danny. Like I have a cousin who's a guy that always went by Jamie when he was younger, but now goes by James. Is that just a thing you're supposed to do when you become an adult? It's like take the Y out of the name, take the E at the end out. I don't know. No one ever teaches you these things. This isn't something they're going to teach you in public school, guys. This is why the school system is so flawed. And, but like girls don't do that. Like there are lots of girls named Emily and Haley and Hillary. Girls don't start going by Hiller when they get older or Emil. So why should I? Fuck that. No. I'm gonna be Dan. I don't I don't like the name Dan and I definitely don't like Daniel So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep being Dan. He looks like he's in pain I'm not exactly sure why I was making this face in this picture, but I don't think I was in pain I was having a good time for most of it I feel like something must have been going on just to my left I've never run any like race like this before So I was a little bit surprised at just how like wild and crazy people got there were people wearing costumes and shit There's one guy wearing a lobster costume the entire time So maybe I saw some weird shit going on over here Danny Gonzalez fans when they see someone Someone named Greg. That's true. There's like a good portion of my DMs that are just like people sending me other people named Greg. Anytime someone just says the name Greg in a TikTok, I get tagged in it a bunch of times. And it's like, yeah, I know that, I, guys, I know there's people named Greg, right? And honestly, I love to see it. Because if they're named Greg, that actually legally makes them a fan of my video. So, I, you know, I like keeping up with the fans. I like seeing what they're up to. My bearded dragon doesn't like Danny. Everything looks like angular. This is a Minecraft house. It's just a really big version. Oh shit. I think he was gonna try to attack me. Oh shit. He did attack me. Oh my god. Name the gecko Grego. Name the gecko Greg. Or what is it? Oh, it's a bearded dragon. Never mind. Name the bearded dragon. 
bearded Greg. I always have the same reaction when I see Danny. Yeah, honestly, even for me, like editing my videos is really hard because like every time I come up on the screen, I like jump onto my computer monitor to try to kill him. I just have that terrifying of a presence. I'm really scary. I think that's what makes me a really good sleep paralysis demon. It's just like the mere sight of me sends you into your fight or flight response. Danny coming up with the hottest bars known to mankind in songs about the dumbest possible topics. You know, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I actually do have a new song coming out soon. I'm not gonna say when, and I'm not gonna say what it's about, but there will be a new song at some point soon. So get ready for that. And I think it's pretty hard. And I do think it is about the dumbest possible topic. So I'm really staying true to my brand. Run, Danny, run. There I go again. So my dad took this picture. My mom and dad were there. And this is actually my mom's phone. This is my mom's phone case. So my dad is taking a picture of me. And you might be able to notice my mom's phone is like facing like over here. She's like not looking at me at all. When I ran by, I saw my parents and I'm waving to them and my dad is like waving and taking a picture back and my mom is just like looking down the road not at me so the reason I'm making this face in this picture you might notice I'm making kind of an M -ma 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 sound with my mouth uh, that's because I was yelling mom and trying to wave at her and be like I'm right here and she actually never saw me so she didn't see me cross the finish line until after my dad was like you know he already like passed us right speedy Gonzalez maybe that's what I should make my second channel name I'll rebrand to strictly running content Content. Danny looking hella speedy here. Yeah, this is pretty good. They caught me like mid stride just at the right time. I feel like I look pretty strong there. I'm also about to finish the race. So I was I was running pretty fast at that point. I was like, get me out of here. I want to be done. What I saw when I opened my phone in a dream I had last night. Okay, excellent. We're getting some more dream lore. So this person in their dream opened their phone to find that Jarvis had posted in World War II that Curtis and I had just given birth to him. And Nancy and 1300 others are digging it. I'm not really sure what this means for, for Danny Dream Lord. Does this check out at all with the sleep paralysis demon thing? Or is this just gonna be its own thing? I've never seen my phone in a dream before. Yeah, that's a good point. I can't remember ever having a dream where I checked my phone. Guess I just kind of have better shit going on in my dreams, you know? I guess there's just kind of like more exciting stuff going on that I don't need to be glued to my freaking phone. Like some Gen Z millennial piece of trash. Imagine a dream where you're just like scrolling Facebook the whole time and it's just like really normal posts on Facebook. Hey, World War II, just so you know, I was just born. Yeah, I don't know about that. I just noticed that Danny and Laura have matching snail tattoos. Oh, someone noticed from, I guess, the post of us finishing the half marathon. Yeah, Laura ran it too, I should say. Laura did it too. And yes, we do have matching snail tattoos, but I should add, I wanted some way to differentiate them. And so I wanted my snail to be a cool snail. So mine has a tiny little backwards hat. You probably can't tell. You can't tell in the picture, but he's got a tiny backwards hat. How do you guys spot these things? Yeah, that actually is pretty impressive. In this original picture, that's so small. Got the CIA in the subreddit. That's actually some critical thinking right there. I actually, I love to see it. Very, very nice. Zooming in and enhancing on every part of my body. Very cool. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow, it's like real. I thought this was like a digital painting. Wait, gouache? Gouache? Isn't that that shit from that Troom Troom video? Gouache. Yeah, it's the stuff from the Troom Troom video. I didn't know what it was. Throwback to when Danny didn't know what gouache was. I still don't, dude. What video was that? Wasn't that the video where I was making like edible pranks? And now you're telling me gouache is paint and not edible? I don't understand. Understand. Did you paint this with frosting? What is gouache? And I'm definitely not gonna look it up. I've gone this long without knowing, so I think I'm fine. I don't think I need to look it up and Google it. I think my life has been just fine without knowing what gouache is. Honestly, I'm afraid to look it up because things have been going so well. I don't wanna, I don't wanna fuck it up and find out. I love the color scheme. Yeah, that's actually, it's really cool. Whatever gouache is, it's really popping. You did great. I watched the new movie Luca, and y'all can't say this ain't Danny. I'm gonna be honest. This guy just has a big nose. That's pretty much it. I don't think that looks like me, unfortunately. His hair is like way more curly than mine. He's got brown eyes and not blue eyes. He's got giant ears. He's an animated character. He's in water. I'm never in the water like that. This is not, it does not look like me. Sorry. Wait, oh, they put binary in the, oh, I wasn't thinking critically, guys. There's like a binary code here. Now, I don't want to type this shit in, so I'm really hoping that somebody else in the comments saw this and typed it in for me, and so I don't have to do the it. Top comment is, I wish Danny was real. That's not me. I am real. That's an animated kid. He's not real. That's from the movie Luca. Did nobody get 
the binary. Really? Nobody did it? Y'all are gonna make me type this in? Oh, okay. One person mentioned the code, but they said somebody else translate. I guess that's what I'm doing too, but god damn, I don't want to type all that in. I would just like to point out that I did think critically enough to see the code. I'm just not gonna put in the effort to type it in. I'm so sorry. All right, let's go to what is hot right now on the subreddit. Now that we've looked at the past month, let's go and see what people are talking about right this minute. Danny, I found your biggest fan. Are these comments on my video? Danny equals Jesus. Wow, so wholesome. I love you. This is the best thing I have ever read. Danny, you are awesome. Danny, you made me cry. Shit. Honestly, I get it though. Hot twist, that's Danny. The Danny Gonzalez fandom just normally dreaming and then Danny showing up in every single dream. I am kind of curious, like, I wish there was a way to put polls on YouTube videos because there's the, now there's two things I want to know. I want to know about the Too Fast and Too Furious thing and now I'm curious what percentage of the audience has actually had a dream that I've been in? Because I won't be satisfied until I'm at 100% and they were all nightmares. Oh, I could do a YouTube community post. Let me do it right now, actually. And then we can see the results. This is genius. We can get results so fast. All I have to do is create a new post and say, have I... Sounds like a really creepy thing to ask. Have I appeared in one of your dreams? But if I word it differently, maybe it's not so creepy. Have you ever had a dream with me in it? Be honest, this is serious. Oh, dream slash sleep paralysis. Okay, I'll post it right now. We'll circle back in a little bit after we go through the subreddit some more and we'll see what happens. Okay, this was so genius. This was the most genius thing I could have done. Rate my dad, I think he looks lovely in his makeup. Wow, very nice. Excellent, good dad. I think that it might be a little too, a little orange up top. Maybe it's just the lighting. I would rate him, but I don't see any cable management. Yeah, cable management gets like an N slash A out of 10. But dad overall, I don't know. There's not really much going on here aside from him wearing makeup. I'll give him a nine. He seems like a good dad. He doesn't really seem happy. I'm kind of worried about him. He almost looks taken off guard or something. His mouth is not even closed. It kind of looks like he just woke up from a nap where you put this makeup on him without him knowing. And you were like, dad. And he was like, huh? And then you took the picture. Honestly, I'll give him an eight out of 10. He looks too startled. And if he's like that all the time, then, then I don't know how good of a dad he is. 10 out of 10 solid dad. Okay, maybe, I mean, you know, that's my dad. He's skinnier now that was late 2021 rate him. Wow, this is a, this this guy looks young. I 100% read this as rip him. My dad is definitely skinnier now. Um, He's dead, so he weighs a lot less. I see a cable around his neck. There is no management. What? Oh, because he's wearing a necklace? Well, okay, he looks like he's having fun. He looks like he's playing dress up. You know, he's kind of iced out here, too. He's got a cool watch on, a cool bracelet. I'll give this dad 8.1. 8.1 out of 10. This is my dad. He's an electrician, so don't worry about messy wiring. Let's go, dude. This guy knows what's up. All right. I know I just said I'm not giving out any 10s out of 10s, but this dad, he looks happy. He looks goofy. I know that that cable management is on point. So this dad gets a 10 out of 10. Yeah, people in the comments are loving him. What do you mean your dad? He's our dad. What? What's going on? Is this real? Wait, did someone paint this? I can't tell if this whole thing is a painting that someone made or if this is some weird filter or like base replacement. It's me and Drew and Curtis. Oh, but we also have necklaces on that are like related to our videos. This feels like one of those portraits that like if we all had a house together, like an old mansion, this would be like above the fireplace. I don't know why Drew, Curtis and I would ever own an old mansion together. Maybe like a content house type situation. I'm a dad and all I want is new music. Danny, I need new music music, my creaky old bones only feel better when they're being massaged by the bass coming from your beat. Okay, well, I've got a song coming out, okay? I have a song, all right? And I made it and it's gonna come out. Fit people should not be funny. I honestly can't believe Danny is fit enough to run a half marathon. Not because he looks out of shape or anything, but in my mind, funny people are unfit and fit people are not funny. These are just the rules. Also, for the record, I am in incredible, awful shape. I suppose that is kind of a stigma that people have. I wonder if training for this half marathon marathon has made me less funny. On a serious note though, I would recommend running. I do really like it. I don't want to make this whole video about running, but Laura and I both got into it at like the start of the pandemic when we didn't have anything else to do and like we couldn't go to the gym or anything. So the only thing we could do is just like go outside and run. And honestly, it's like a really cool hobby. I mean, like you're constantly developing yourself. You're constantly finding out that you're able to run a little bit farther and a little bit farther. And that's just doing it by yourself. Once you get into like running, maybe like a 5k for like a cause or something or like this half marathon. There's like a whole culture around running that I did not know existed. I guess I knew existed, but I'd never been a part of it before. After the half marathon, there's like a little party
party you go to where there's all these tents set up and you get like a beer and stuff and it was pretty cool. So I don't know, I'd recommend it. You feel really good after a long run too. People say you get like a runner's high. And honestly, I get that, I get that. Okay, I'm kind of curious. I don't know if I've ever done this before in a subreddit video, I can't remember, but I don't I don't usually go into the new tab and I kind of want to see if there's anything there. So let's click on new. I just want to see like, what is the most recent thing that someone's posted about me? Okay, it's like a sexual dream about me. Never mind. Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? Yo, there's some weird shit getting posted on new. Finish the sentence. Danny is Drew. Ha! A sleep paralysis demon. Let's go! Yeah. Watching always. The new Meat King, 13 years old. That's pretty fucked up. Okay, honestly, not that much to see in new. So it's a good thing that we usually only do hot and top. So all right, well, I suppose we can end this, but uh, let's go back to the poll and see what people are saying. Have you had a dream slash sleep paralysis with me in it? Be honest, this is serious. I'm gonna refresh the page and we're gonna see how far we are in our escapade to be a sleep paralysis demon. Okay, so we got 15% yes and 85% no. Honestly, if people are really truly being honest, that's pretty fucking impressive. 15% of the 3,000 people that have voted so far have said yes. And if you think about it, my videos get a million views. 15% of a million is what, like 150,000? I'd call that an epidemic. I'd say that I'm sweeping the nation. Let's see what people are saying. You were actually like a background character in many of my dreams over many nights. Like something would be happening, like a flood, and you'd just be standing panicking with everyone else. The truth hurts. I really want you to be in my nightmares, but it just hasn't happened yet. I'm so sorry, Danny. Maybe I need to do something scary in real life to get people more scared of me. Can I do something that would be scary and that would make you have a nightmare about me? Ah! Okay. Maybe we'll do this poll next time and see if that helped. Danny, I have. It was actually one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. I was in a dark room with a single light hanging. You were sitting at the interrogation table. I walked over and sat at the opposite side, not really knowing what was happening. You looked up at me and your eyes went hollow like some horror movie shit. I woke up right afterwards, but I will remember it forever. Wow, okay. I'm loving this. I'm tormenting people. Okay, now it's at 14% yes, but you know, it, it'll probably even out somewhere around there. Okay, well, very interesting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I very much enjoy going through the subreddit, so keep on posting on there. We've got almost 90,000 gregs. That's pretty sick. And I'll see you next time. Bye.